Welcome to The Inner Entrepreneur. I'm Paul Ryan, and in today's mini pod, we ask the question, are you becoming a self-help junkie? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all into self-help. Obviously, I've created this podcast to help people, to educate people, so people can help themselves to create the lives they want to live. So I'm all into self-help. I was very fortunate at about 17, 18 years of age, so close on 40 years ago, to be introduced to meditation. And ever since, I've had a daily meditation practice, which has really helped me grow and get to know myself. Now, shortly after my first experience of meditation, I got to spend a couple of weekends studying the silver method of mind control, and it opened my mind. I became aware, introduced to the possibilities that were available to us all if we explored what we could really do, what we could really become as human beings on this planet. So I was hooked. I'd found my tribe. So I started buying books, buying cassette tapes. Yeah, it was 40 years ago, attending courses and absorbing as much of this information as I possibly could. So obviously, all of this was having a very positive impact on me. And I did it for several years. And then in my mid-twenties, I was attending another course and I was sitting in the room one weekend and the speaker was very engaging, encouraging, lots of really valuable information. And I had an aha moment. And that moment was realising that I already knew everything he was teaching me. Now, I don't mean that in a cocky way. I mean simply sitting there and going, Paul, you've heard all this before. And if you've heard all this before, why are you here? Why are you paying good money for this course? And the answer was, because I had heard it all. It was all knowledge, but I hadn't transferred it. I hadn't taken action into my life. The circumstances of my life had not changed. So I made a commitment there and then, much as I loved attending these courses, I would attend no more, zero, until I'd taken what I already knew, what I had already learned over the previous years, and implemented into my life. So from that day forward, I got really focused on looking at my life and seeing what I needed to implement, what I needed to change. And my main struggle was financial at the time. I really wanted to grow my income, build a business. So that's what I focused on. Fast forward, probably a decade later, I had moved on from the world of personal development. And I'm sitting in my office and I get a call from a friend to say a big group of people are heading over to Tony Robbins Unleash the Power Within weekend in London that I want to go. Now I paused for a moment to reflect and I remembered my decision of almost a decade earlier but I looked at my life since and I realised that my life had changed radically. I now lived in the home I wanted, I was now driving the car I wanted, I had the income, the lifestyle I wanted. I really had radically implemented a lot of the tools I'd learned. So I said yes, I'm in, I'm going. And I started back into the road of personal development. And I've continued on the path of learning and studying personal development, personal growth ever since. But what I realize is that it feels good to attend these courses. It feels good to listen to the podcast, to read the books. It feels good to hear about possibilities, to hear that we can create good lives. Of course it feels good. But feeling good is useless unless it stimulates a change in behavior. And the change in behavior has to be that you take action on what you learn. So let's wrap this episode by defining what a self-help junkie is and what it isn't. A self-help junkie, and it was me, I hope it's not you, is someone who consumes all the self-help positive information but does nothing about it to impact their lives. That's wasted information. And what you really need to do is immerse yourself in this information and grow and change and develop. And most of all, you need to take action because when you take action, that's when results show up. Thanks for listening. If you've enjoyed this episode, please do like, subscribe, comment, share it with your friends. It really helps grow the episode. Thanks. Until next time.